Ladies and gentlemen, <clears throat> people of the United States of America, and anybody else who wants to listen, feel free to listen to these videos I make. There's over 500 something on YouTube.com. I don't expect you all to listen to all of them. I mean, heck, I couldn't even waste the time. A lot of them are repeats saying the same thing over and over again. Just go to channel JD Cravo in all small letters. But that ain't what this video is about. This could be an economic video 101, a repeat. But before I do that, I'm going to say one thing about our Constitution of the United States. <clears throat> when the Constitution was ratified, there was a condition attached to it. And the condition is that when Congress returned, they were to add to it the rights to protect the individual. We know it as the Bill of Rights. I call it the Ten Commandments of the Constitution. I looked into that condition. If Congress alters that condition, the first Ten Amendments, in any way whatsoever, that will completely null and void the Constitution of the United States of America. The Bill of Rights cannot be touched. It is the Ten Commandments of the Constitution. Enough said on that for right now. I will do a video on that. This is about Economics 101. And I'll use the three-legged stool example. A sound national economic program is based on three legs of a stool. Natural resources, manufacturing, and commerce or the ability to expend. <clears throat> the United States of America through all these stupid programs, I'm going to name it stupid, has uh, developed a no-touch natural resources. There has to be a happy medium let me give you an example of real stupidity with the EPA. I believe it's Arizona, there's this lake where there's this little minnow. Only place it can be found. But that water is irrigated all through California where there's other endangered species also. Well, because of a judge ruling on this minnow, they stopped tapping the water. All the farmland, all the woods, everything that was in California dried up. A lot of food producing soil became near desert. A lot of lush woodland for many different animals became dried parched trees and brush. EPA has a very sick attitude and does not believe in evolution. That one species replaces another. That's evolution. EPA runs on the hindsight that everything has to exist forever. It's not that case. Even we know we're not on this earth forever. Everything dies. Everything changes. Now, the EPA wiped out a lot. Lightning struck, dried parched forests burnt, a lot of other endangered species died. Thousands and thousands of animals died because of a stupid ruling of a nearsighted, hindsighted judge about that minnow. That is part of natural resources. We are blocking the American society, the American environment, from utilizing its own natural resources. But let me warn you, America, just because we have such readily 
there is one natural resource that's even more readily available, but we fail to utilize. And that's called hydrogen. The nation that converts to the hydrogen system vice the fossil fuel system is going to be the freest nation in the world and will control the economies of all the world. Hydrogen is a combustible fuel that could replace any and all fossil fuels in any and all functions. So there we are with our natural resources. It's there, but between our own high site and the EPA, we don't utilize it. Well, there goes one leg. Manufacturing. Congress has passed so many rules, so many regulations about manufacturing that it's basically leaving this country. Very little manufacturing to poor manufacturing is in this country. Manufacturing is struggling to stay in this country. But because of the rules and regulations and poor tax system, extremely inefficient tax system we have in this nation, it's leaving throughout the world. Our manufacturing is decreasing. And you can tell that by our unemployment. Less manufacturing, less need for jobs, need for people to work, less jobs available. There. Now well, we just wiped out leg number two in the stool. Now the other one is commerce or the ability to buy. Well, what's happening there, people? If you're not putting anything back into the economy, but constantly taking out, eventually everything will be gone. Spending, the ability to spend is the only thing we got left. That's right, people. Our ability to spend is all we got left. Unemployment is high. People having decent jobs are low. People making decent wages is extremely low. Our manufacturing is down. We can't use our natural resources no matter how hard we try because of the rules and regulations of the EPA, special interest groups, and all that. Manufacturing can't even figure out this inefficient, ridiculous tax system. And they're only making it worse. So, all we got is the ability to spend nothing coming back into the economy no natural resources no manufacturing just commerce we got very little use of our natural resources and very little use of our ability to manufacture and our commerce or spending is at its all time high we're going to run out the country is going broke the people are going broke the states are going broke what can we say? So the third leg is the only leg left, and it's cracking. So, what should we do? First and foremost, understand. EPA, if it's not there to assist us and give us guidelines and help us, then it all gets thrown out the window. It's a piece of crap that thinks it's the big king, big pin, big kuhana of the world. Well, good, fine. Get outside the country. I don't give a crap. EPA is a bunch of junk. If he can't see the repercussions of its decisions further than the nose in front of their face, they should not be making decisions. Good example is this stuff about the environment and global warming. Scientists are saying, whoa, now they're starting to say, hey, the sun's activity is starting to stop. We may be entering some global cooling, cooling even to a stage of might even call it mini ice age. 
Well, what about all the carbons? Well, actually, man is insignificant to the environment, is what they're saying. So, now they're telling you the truth that if the Earth, Sun decides to produce less heat, that all those hydrocarbons isn't going to do anything to help. Man is insignificant. Where before, when they were yelling, global calling, we're causing it! We are the developer! Now, we're insignificant. Because that's the truth. We are insignificant to the Earth's atmosphere. We are insignificant to what the Earth does. Believe me, one volcano puts more pollution, carbons and everything in the air than we can do in a hundred years. But you see, the crybabies want something to cry about. So these global warming people are now starting to have to eat their own crap. What is this global cooling going to do? Mini Ice Age. We enter a mini Ice Age. Northern Russia, Canada, and places like that, England, ain't going to be able to produce enough food to feed their people. If any. And they're going to be ten depending upon us. And we're going to have to tell EPA, look, get out of the way. It's time to start feeding the world, start manufacturing. And manufacturing, I guarantee you, I am going to do something to bring manufacturing back into this country wholeheartedly. And that means jobs for a lot of people. And manufacturing will be part of the United States again. And the ability for you to spend and not go broke will be my goal, which means we must efficiently, as I said efficiently, use our natural resources, we must economically and smartly use our natural resources. We must convert from fossil fuels to hydrogen. We must bring manufacturing back into this country so that we are the leaders in the world in manufacturing. Not the leaders in inventing high tech and then other countries go and manufacture it, but the leaders in manufacturing. The government is there to assist you, the people, because you are the government. That's right, people. You are the government. A government of the people, by the people, for the people says it plain and simple. You are the government. Not the people who sit in Washington, D.C. They're the figureheads of our government. But you, the people, are the government. And then, once we have manufacturing and we are efficiently using our natural resources and we start to develop and use hydrogen to its maximum potential, we will then have commerce. And we will then be able to spend. And the ability of the American people to spend is where our tax system should be based on. This way the government will ensure that there is efficient use of natural resources, manufacturing is at its utmost, and your ability, your commerce, is to the best it could be because your ability to spend will tell us how well our economy is doing and by our taxes based on that via a sales tax will let us know what's right and what's wrong and where is the assistance you the American people the government of this country needs assistance besides I hope you all tell us with your voice that is economic 101. I actually said a lot in this video besides Economics 101. Unless you have natural resources and abundant efficient use, manufacturing to its utmost, and commerce and your ability to spend to the optimum, you have a poor economic system within your nation and you shall fail. That is Economics 101. Thank you. This is JD.